Alright, so I decided to participate once again in Lisa's thing this week. This is our junk drawer. It's right next to our uh, backyard door and underneath our counter. Oh look, this is what I did to save space. These are um, antibacterial thingies and I got Ikea things nailed to the wall. But anyway, that's not the point. This is our junk drawer. I have not opened it in a while, so... Frick. So, these are annoying, but they're the only things that go in these drawers. So, um, our drawers are terrible. I want to redo our kitchen so bad, and the drawers and, like, covers are the first thing we're doing. But here's what is in our junk drawer. Um, this is clean for us, by the way. Usually you can't even get the drawer shut. So, we have packing tape because I use this for everything. I don't know why. We have um, little wrapping thingy tape, but there's nothing, no tape in there. I don't know. Um, a glue pen for some reason. Some super glue. Some, oh, this scotch tape goes in that wrapping paper tape. Uh, I don't know what these are. Oh, these are those things that are like the scotch on the wall sticky hook thingies. Um, some, hmm, what do you call this stuff? I don't remember what you call this stuff. It's like flower wire or something. I do a lot of crafts that I use these for. Pens, permit markers, um, some tool parts, a big battery that goes over there. Um, rubber bands. My husband hates rubber bands. He's like afraid of them, so I have to put them in a bag in the corner. He's not afraid of them. He just does not like the way they feel. They bother him for some reason. These little batteries, we buy them in bulk because they're double triple A because every freaking little boy's toy takes triple A batteries. So there's that. Um, these actually go on the closet door, like bifold closet doors to keep them shut. We had to put them in Wyatt's room because like I said, he's been tearing his uh, closet doors off the hinges. They don't work. They suck. Don't buy them. I should actually just throw those away because they suck. So we threw those in there. Um, we have more AA batteries. Again, all the kids have they take batteries. I swear to God, I'm going like broke just by ba buying batteries. Um, a hook. I love hooks all over my house. This is something that a little girl made me at my church. Um, it was hanging up, so if you're watching this video, I highly doubt you are, but it was hanging up. We had to take it down because I forget why. I think why it was pulling at it. Um, this is a light switch like guard so that way like a toddler can't turn the light on they i don't know why it's already figured it out so if you they're cheap but my kid is and just like satan he's found his way around every single kid's thing um these are the warranties lifetime warranties on our new couch and chair in the living room um these are pads for underneath all of our furniture so they don't scratch the hardwood floor um back here these are um, a new band for our, um, vacuum, which our vacuum sucks because the band keeps, like, falling off or what is it, belt, I guess it's called a belt. Um, and then back there are some zip ties. Um, over here is a lint roller that's obviously doing its job collecting lint in the drawer. Elmer's glue, some parts to, God knows what, I don't even know. A Casio calculator, pencil sharpener, magnifying glass, woo. Uh, sticky notes, hole punch, lead, oh, another Rogue AAA battery. Um, over here we have a mini hammer. These are actually sold at Lowe's. They're actually the kids craft. Like every Saturday Lowe's has a free kids like like thing that you can register online for and go to. Well, John takes Abe every once in a while. It's really cool. They, it's free. They make like things. But they also sell the kits and also mini tools. Now, oh, it's called Build and Grow program um so go check out your local Lowe's online they have them every Saturday but anyways um I didn't buy this for that purpose this is just the perfect like little size hammer for me to put nails on the wall and it was really cheap so that's why I bought that we actually have two of them for when we buy because you can buy the kits and do them at home as well for the kids build to grow program thing or you can do them there for free so anyways there's those um I don't know why there's a big wrench in here but there is a uh, little scissors a little oriental fan because I am Korean. I don't know, whatever. Um, another permanent marker, a little stained glass cardinal that my grandma, it's in here not because it's junk but because it kept falling off the window and my grandma like was obsessed with cardinals and she passed away a while ago and that was my one thing that I wanted from her um, to remind me of her. Um, some flower tape, oh, I really I don't know what it is with me, some 
I used to address all of my packages that I'd send from my Etsy store with this metallic pen, uh, Nightlight, and some parts that I don't know if I'm a husband, nail clippers, um, a mini thingy, I don't know what that is, and then this ace bandage thing, I actually have this from when I sprained my wrist from leaf blowing last year. I'm kind of an OCD person. I have to have every single leaf picked up in my yard at all times um, during the fall. It's actually become an unhealthy problem because I sprained my wrist last fall. So there's my junk drawer. It is quite junky. Moving on to my obsession or clutter or whatever the next question was that my husband hates. These are only the ones that my mom just returned back. But like Lisa, I have a bag problem. I will pick up a reusable grocery bag wherever I go. This is only four of them. The rest of them, my husband finally made me put in our van because I was never taking them to the store. So I have about 14 in the van, 16 in the garage, and then these four. And these four are inside because those two my mom just returned back to me, and then these were in the closet. Now, I have an issue with them just because I love reusable bags. I don't know. Trader Joe's makes the best ones, and so does Whole Foods, so I always buy one when I'm there. But I just love reusable bags. I don't know why. So because I was buying so many of them and not using them, <laughs> they were, like, being shoved into crevices in our house. My husband made a new rule that I'm only allowed to buy bags as long as they're 99 cents or cheaper. If they are $1.09, cents, $1.19, anywhere over a dollar, I'm not allowed to buy them. So... Yeah, I also have a big thing about like um, insulated bags. So I bought a huge one at Costco and then I shove all of my like 16 bags into that and then I shove that in my van. So that's in the van right now and these are the four that are inside and again we have a crap ton of them in the garage. So that would be the junk that my husband's like, oh my god, get rid of. That and also my perfumes. I have a huge issue with samplings of perfumes and I would show you but my daughter is sleeping in our bedroom right now. But there are my things this week. Bye guys.